So we have these wired in and tightened down. And this is for the, the uh, pool cleaner. And uh, so now we're going to go ahead and proceed with the pool blower. And uh, we're using this relay for it. And uh, it's coming off the breaker for the blower. Uh, it's not GFCI protected because it's all by itself and uh, it's not uh, in contact with any pool water. So we're going to run the two line side pigtails up in here and we're going to tighten them down. And then we're going to bring up our wire from the blower and we're going to bring it in and we're going to wire it in under the load side. Come on. This thing's going to be very persnickety. Yeah. Tighten it down. There we go, no persistence, pays off. No need to super strip these long ways or anything. We want it nice and neat. Check the tightness on all these. There we go. And that is gonna be our blower, it's ready to go. And then now we have our water feature pump and we're going to wire it up over here it's a 110 unit so uh, we have our line side voltage going in here Let's see if we can't get it to cooperate there we go and the switch side comes from down here where it's heading out the voltage side coming in. Tuck it behind all this mess. Keep it nice and neat back here. Lay that in here. And run it right up in here on the load side of this relay. Sometimes the little wires get hidden back behind it and it makes things difficult. There we go. There we go. Let me check my tightness. These are good. And uh, so the other, that's this breaker right here. And we have our uh, GFCI running over here to the neutral bar. And then we also have our neutral line coming back from our pump right here. And uh, that's going down to this little 110 pump that's right down here. So uh, it's switched and ready to go now. And then we're almost done. So we have our uh, cleaner switched, our blower switched, our fountain switched, and we also have our lights that are switched. So what's left over is the pool filter pump and the heater. They both get powered directly off the breaker. So here we have the uh, pump uh, and the heater. The heater is wired in red and the pump is wired in black and they're pigtailed together and they are controlled remotely by low voltage so um, they come directly off our breaker so we're going to wire them in to our breaker here and uh, 
call that good. Change out the screwdriver because that one ain't gonna work. faster way of doing this but it is what it is and I always pull on the wires to be sure that they're seated well when we do this sort of thing and uh, the neutral line always gets tied to the bus bar right here but we don't have a neutral line on this here because we're just dealing with 110 and that's all wired in so that is how you wire in the high voltage side. If we have any other 110 items to be wired in, we just replicate this setup right here. If it's a 220, we replicate it like we did earlier. And we just use the other relays. And then these are controlled by our buttons up here.